Wheel assemblies consist of a wheel and a tire. When combined together, they are designed to rotate around their center axis, which is attached to the vehicle's axle with lug nuts. When a wheel assembly rotates, especially at high speeds, it exerts a centrifugal force on the axle that depends on the location of the exact center of the wheel assembly. In a perfect world, the exact center of a wheel assembly would be, in fact, placed in the exact center of the axle. This would mean the assembly could spin perfectly at any speed with even weight distribution on all sides. From the front or from the side, you can see that the wheel is spinning in perfect proportion. However, wheels and tires are not manufactured in a perfect world, and even though they are both built to extremely tight tolerances, weight imbalances are unavoidable. Nearly every wheel has some type of imbalance or heavy spot noted in blue on the illustration. And, most every tire has an imbalance, noted in green on the illustration. These weight imbalances are typically very minimal in size. When you consider that a typical passenger car tire mounted on an alloy wheel weighs about 40 pounds, it's amazing that the total amount of imbalance is typically no more than 2 ounces, or about one-third of 1%. However, any imbalance is a hazard. Due to the weight imbalance, the exact center of the tire is compromised and the assembly rotates unevenly, often causing wheels to hop and wobble. In fact, a small imbalance of just one half an ounce at a speed of 65 miles per hour creates an outward centrifugal force equal to that of a sledgehammer. To offset this imbalance, a weight of some type must be applied opposite the imbalance area to equal out the weight distribution. This is shown in red on our example. With the proper amount of weight applied to the light side or the opposite side of the imbalance, the wheel can now rotate with perfect